Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. Seems like it's been quite some time since I've done a trailer reaction. But we have a good one right here from Netflix. We have Self Made. Self Made, inspired by the life of Madam C.J. Walker, played by Miss Octavia Spencer. I mean, could there be any better casting than this? This is absolutely marvelous, especially if you've seen the real life photo of Miss uh, Madam C.J. Walker. If you don't know who she is, she was the first self-made, excuse me, self-made millionaire in America. Not this black woman, but first self-made millionaire. And uh, we'll probably get into all the details later. But um, this one kind of snuck up on me. Trailer came out a few days. I'm a little late. That's OK. Better be late than never. So, guys, let me go ahead and put on these headphones so y'all can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. Empire building. I gotta turn that down. It's time to tell my story. Was that Tiffany Haddish? Seems like I was born to struggle. After a while, I guess I just lost hope. That's when my hair started falling out. I'm gonna help you. My hair grew back, and so did my confidence. Good. Maybe I could sell your product. <laughs> I don't think sales is for you. <laughs> mm. Colored women will do anything to look like me, even if deep down they know they can't. I can let you keep beating up on yourself, yeah? From now Blair on, I'm doing my own hair, making my own hair grow up. All right. Come on. Missy, I don't take orders no What's more. Up? Lincoln freed me 40 years back. That's why I'm gonna pay you. And that's why you my favorite daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Sisters, let's talk about hair. They put us down, tell us we're ugly, make us feel ugly. Wonderful hair leads to wonderful opportunities. Mama. You can call me Queen. Well, that's Tiffany Haddish. I want a whole line of products, which is why I want to open my own factory. There's such a thing as grown too fast. We live in a man's world. It's just not our place. I didn't come here to make sandwiches. I came here to do business. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know. What won't do now, sir? Don't let nobody steal your dream. That's like a few weeks away. We need a plan B. I'm not going back to London. Now, we done all made sacrifices. You gonna do what's best for this family. Oh, what you, what you talking about, Blair? Hair is beauty. Hair is power. Damn, Sarah, how big you want to be? Big. It's Carnegie, Ford, and Rockefeller put together. I'm a ruler, yeah, yeah. We got to work harder. Be smarter. Oh, be smarter. And dream big. I'm a ruler, I'm a ruler, yeah. All right. Come on, Netflix. Come on, March 20th. I am here for this right here. Actually, let me put that over there. Well, guys, that does look pretty good. Of course, I'm going to support this. Now, coming up, uh, I've always heard of uh, Madam C.J. Walker and just knew that she was the first self-made or self first self-made black woman millionaire but when I oh the trailer's still playing give me a second let me turn this off real quick don't wanna well, I'm not gonna call that person out another YouTuber um but anyway um this is a four-part series um I don't know how long each episode is going to be whether it's going to be 30 minutes or an hour I'm not sure but I'm definitely going to be checking this out this is the official storyline the inspiring story of trailblazing African-American entrepreneur, Madam C.J. Walker, who built her hair care empire that, excuse me, that made her America's first female self-made millionaire. So that's what's up. Now, just to, I was reading something on, oh, like, you know, I'm not saying that Wikipedia is the end all be all, but it was saying that there's a quote from her saying, uh, where, where is she? Where is it at right here? According to Walker's obituary in the New York Times, she said herself two years ago in 1917, because she passed away in 1919, that she was not a millionaire um, 
she was not yet a millionaire, but hoped to be some time. And it said that her estimated net worth was six hundred thousand dollars. But in 2019, that would have been eight point eight million dollars. So, um, you know, however you want to interpret that. Uh, we got a good cast, of course, uh, Octavia Spencer, uh, Academy Award winning uh, actor, actress, excuse me, uh, Tiffany Haddish. Now, Tiffany Haddish, I cannot say that I'm a fan of hers, but I what was that movie with Kevin Hart? Night School. I did really enjoy Night School. I did. Uh, that was, I think, the best role that she did to me, in my opinion. Every, I mean, I, I could not stand her in Girls Trip. I could not. I, I could not stand her character. Uh, she was she pissed on the, the the zip line. That was not. I mean, everybody else liked that movie. I did not. Uh, wasn't for me. I didn't see Like a Boss that came out a number of weeks ago. Um, I heard The Kitchen was one of the worst movies in 2019. I don't know if that's because of her or it was just a bad movie. I didn't see that movie as well. But uh, Nobody's Fool. That was uh, that was horrible. Um, that movie was horrible. Her character was horrible. Like I said, she was dope as hell in high school. Uh, says she was in Uncle Drew. I did love that movie, but I don't remember her in that. And I'm looking at the rest of her filmography, A uh, Girl's Trip. Um, she was also on Keanu. I, I don't. I saw that with my brother um, a few years ago. I don't remember her being in that. So, I mean, at least she has nice school going for her. I mean, you know, we're going to see how she does in this as well. Uh, Garrett Morris. I, I love Garrett Morris. We saw him in the trailer. Uh, Blair Underwood, dope as hell. Uh, Bill Bellamy is in this. That's cool. Uh, Cornelius Smith Jr. is playing W.E.B. Du Bois. And so um, it seems like it's going to be pretty fire. I, I, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I'm trying to see if we have some trivia here that I can read real quick, um, you know, to answer some more questions, because I could have did a little bit more research. But sometimes I like to do that when I'm doing a reaction. Um you know, just so we can experience this thing together and I can give you a full reaction. But no, that's really, you know, that's really nothing else. Uh, I just want to know how long each each episode is going to be. I don't know, but I guess I will find out in three weeks. How many? Let me look at the calendar. This, OK, that's one week. So, yeah, three weeks from today. That's right around the corner, guys. That's right around the corner. Uh, let me click this episode guy real quick. Okay, it doesn't really say how long each episode is going to be, but I'm gonna check it out. I'm a binger. So, guys, are you excited about this? Did you know about this? Um, you know, how much did you know or did you not know about Madam C.J. Walker? Are you happy with the casting? Are you liking the trailer? Let me know all that stuff down in the comment section below. My guys, that is just my opinion. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like the video, please go ahead and give me that thumbs up because it does help me out with the channel. Also, please subscribe to the channel as well. I would love to hit 30,000 subscribers. Uh, also, look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of the screen, and you got links in the pinned comments and in the description box. But guys, again, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget to always chase your dreams, because I'm chasing mine. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.